Well, Jeff, thank you so much for your time. Uh, 12 brands have been launched in Asia Pacific over the past 18 months. That's very exciting for your company. Very busy time for us in Asia Pacific. Uh, in China, as you saw this morning, across Asia and the Pacific Rim, you look at the 200 international attendees that we have here at this conference, and so many of them are from your part of the world. Uh, you mentioned uh, Rob, Neil, and the Safari Group who we were with uh, last night. It, it, it is so great to see so many brands as, as Rob's introduced with La Quinta, uh, the remarkable spark. He has so much development um, going on over there and it's just great to see new brands, as you mentioned, being introduced in that part of the world. Now you only acquired that brand a couple of years ago. Hasn't that growth <laughs> been uh, phenomenal for you as a company? It is one of our best performing brands on so many different levels, uh, certainly from a performance standpoint, which we're obviously thrilled with to see its market share uh, well above its competitive set, to see it growing not only domestically, but to see it growing in New Zealand, to see it growing in China. We now have several uh, La Quinta's either open or under development in China. It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's remarkable. And you introduced a new luxury brand recently, which is getting some global traction. That's exciting for you as well. The registry collection has been one of our most successful upscale and above launches. We launched it, I think, uh, in the midst of the pandemic, and we already have 17 beautiful registry collection hotels, luxury hotels open with another two dozen in the pipeline. Uh, Dimitri was on stage today talking about a new registry addition in his home country of Athens, uh, Athens, Greece. Now, obviously, uh, loyalty is playing a huge part in the growth of this company. 103 million members you're on now, that's, that's quite a 104 effort. million, I heard uh, Lisa Czechia say today. We've just ticked over 104 million members, and we were, we were roughly half of that size when we were last all together um, in uh, September of 2019. So it's, it's come a long, long way. Loyalty is a big driver of direct contribution to our hotels. Uh, nearly one out of every two check-ins here in the United States are coming through our Wyndham Rewards loyalty program, and nearly 40% of our check-ins globally are coming through Wyndham Rewards. And, and, and to think that for six years running now, it has been voted the number one loyalty program here in the U.S. Uh, by, uh, by USA Today and for U.S. News and World Report to just declare it the best and fastest way to, to earn a free night is, is uh, really special. Now, obviously, as the world keeps opening up, Americans are traveling like nothing else. Obviously, United launching new flights into New Zealand, launching flights back into Asia, and loyalty plays a huge part of that, doesn't it, when those travelers are traveling out of this country, given your 104 million members? Absolutely, and they're looking for those more aspirational international locations to travel to. But uh, yeah, it's, a, it's loyalty has a big, big play in terms of where those 100 four million members want to use their points. And we love talking about stats, we just gave us a great one just then, and also we saw 60% of all your bookings are coming from mobile now. That is a huge significant increase in the last five years. Our fastest growing channel is, is our mobile app, which we all have in our, in our pockets, and it, uh, it, it really is. We've had uh, just tremendous success for, with, with all of our mobile initiatives and it's driving really the most uh, direct form of booking that we could possibly drive to, to our owners. And with the owners, you're, you've announced quite a few things this week in terms of a suite of offerings to help them increase revenue, increase, increase rev par, and make more money. We have, and, and that's what our philosophy, our owner first philosophy is all about, is making that commitment to our owners as we were doing this week, that what we, we, we're not looking to mandate any of the tools or programs or services we're, we're, uh, we're talking to our owners about opting in to the $275 million investment we've made uh, over the last few years in our technology platform that's, that's driving that top line and that bottom line profitability. The franchisees are pretty happy with it this week so far. Yeah, the, the best measure of franchisee happiness is the retention rate, the percentage of franchisees that we retain each and every year. And our retention rates today are, are at historical all-time highs. And, and our, our, why we're all here is to continue to, to increase that engagement with them. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having us.